Matt, say hi. Hello. So we're working on something special, which I can't tell you because I don't know when this vlog is going out. But this is Matt, our yeah, lovely producer. <laughs> I was about me. <laughs> I didn't think the camera was going to pan to me, I was like, what? So we are here, I can't tell you where we are, but we are somewhere. Didn't even introduce my vlog. Okay, get it. Hi guys. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If it's your first time here, make sure you subscribe, like, do all that wonderful stuff. So I haven't vlogged in a really long time because I had a really shit camera and then everyone was complaining about my mic, but I finally got a mic now. So we are here um, taking pictures for super amazing thing that i can't wait to announce how amazing is it well i'm really really happy it's we're amazing it's fabulous we're very excited mm -hmm. as you can tell come on <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're doing, you're doing i'm doing much. the most sorry guys doing too much. i'm tired i'm just trying to i'm really trying to put it on i'm tired i'm actually tired but yeah so we're gonna look at some of the pictures that we've taken and then we're gonna decide which one doesn't look half as bad. And then I think I'm meeting my manager soon because I, I, I'm still with the same agency, but I've changed agents. So I'm gonna go meet Nicole, my new agent. Hi, Nicole. And talk about some future exciting months. A little bit of a story for you, right? <laughs> So two weeks, a week ago, right, Will rang me up and we were just having a chat and he was like, Amanda, you know what, I really want to go wireless, like, we have to go wireless. And I was like, right, well, okay, like, you work in global, you work in Capital Extra, so if you can spin us tickets, mm -hmm. do you know what, I'll go. Yeah. So Will was like, yeah, 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 he messaged me one of the days, a few days before wireless. Wireless was Friday, Saturday, Sunday. He messaged me on maybe like a Tuesday mm -hmm. and was like, yeah, I can get us tickets, like VIP, like this is going to be good, whatever, whatever, whatever. So I'm super excited. Now, I get my ticket Thursday night. And I knew I wasn't going when Will didn't message me on Friday. So Will didn't say anything to me. So I'm thinking, I'm pretty sure why this is today, right? Will didn't say a word to me on Friday. So I was like, okay, that's Friday gone. Yeah. And I'm watching Drake and Future perform from my- That wasn't from, my fault, I didn't know it was gonna from happen. From my Twitter. So then I call Will on Friday and we're talking about Saturday and mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, let me know like what time. Cause I've, <laughs> I've never been to wireless before. Oh, I've never been to wireless before. So I was like, let me know what time. Saturday night, I was like picking out my outfit. There. I was like, you know, trying on my wigs. And then Will messages me in the morning. Was it in the morning? Yeah. And he was like, oh, I feel poisoned. <laughs> we missed Friday, we missed Saturday. And Will is like, oh, I have food poisoning. And he's like, by the way, the VIP is the ghetto. <laughs> I heard it was the ghetto. I heard the VIP was the ghetto. But how is it the ghetto? I heard it was. I heard there were no seats. See, well, yeah. Well, it's so prestige. I heard there were no seats. I said, if I want to go to VIP, I want me and you one day to be sat down. I want a bottle of champagne. All the, you know, them the VIP vibes. You know, when Will told me that there was no seats, yeah, I knew I wasn't going. I can't sit down. No, I'm not. I'm not. Twenty-five years of age. I said no. We are not just standing. We're not just standing. No, no, no. We're not doing that. And I was gonna vlog my wireless week. I just charge my battery another thing and yeah I did this is our wireless vlog. vlog. This is it. Yeah. This is our wireless, wireless vlog. vlog. Woo. Yes, happy wireless. Yeah, I think we're finished our meeting. I think it was eventful. We it took was really some nice good. pictures. Took some nice pictures. We can't say what it's for, but it was really, really good. Yeah. Like, I, you wonder, it's quite great to see you in this whole creative space as well. Like, really? She's probably good, you know. Oh. She's very good. She's very creative and she's very good. Stop so. it. Yeah. Stop. with family, my manager, and also Cole. <laughs> hey guys. So we're gonna do some work and then I'll update you guys later. Hey guys, so I am home. Sorry about the really shit lighting. So I'm home, I had an event. Do you know what? I don't know what lens to look in. So I've got a new camera and I'm super excited because I absolutely love it. But I don't know whether to look at like my flip screen or my lens. So I'm just gonna look at my lens because I'm pretty sure that's what everybody does. As you can tell, I'm 
kind of new to vlogging but I met with Bambi and Nicole today and we just talked about the plans for the rest of the year and I'm really gonna get my shit together like obviously writing I'm not sure if any of you guys know but I am writing a book called Reclaiming make sure you pre-order that in the bio in my bio my description box in the description box there will be a link make sure you pre-order that um but yeah I feel like my organic content hasn't like I don't know I'm just not happy with it so I want to start doing like more organic content and I'm gonna go away soon and try and try and get really nice content and just like might get my shit together so that's what we spoke about today and upcoming deals and what I'd like to do and just to smash the targets for the rest of the year because it's September we have three months left until the end of the year so get that done gonna get something to eat I actually have a phone call today so I left my house at 11 5 55 oh five, 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 five. does that mean anything I don't know and um, I'm gonna have a call now at five o'clock at six o'clock I think it's at six o'clock that is so awkward let me check yes it is it is it is it's six o'clock yes so I'm gonna have a call at six o'clock and then I'm gonna get some food take off my makeup and that is the end of my day really I didn't really do much that's why I never vlog because I feel like I never I didn't even do anything but um yeah I will speak to you guys soon and I've no idea what the next vlog is gonna be I might take you guys to the gym actually maybe I've shot myself in the leg by actually saying that and then not do it I just find it so awkward filming in the gym but I might go really early one of the days and maybe film my routine so maybe maybe but anyways i will see you guys later on bye hey guys so it is currently friday 7 7 37 you see that yeah yeah no yes yes i'm on my way to leomi anderson's um launch for her new um collection which i'm wearing so this is the top and also this is the sports bra it comes with i'll show you my full outfit in a second and i'm just wearing it with trousers since it's in a club like it's in this really weird like i'm really excited to see it but i'm also quite nervous i remember i was saying to her so it's like a gym but a club at the same time it's like a members only thing it's not officially open yet i think it's open like either this sunday or next week sometime so it's like a club uh sports center and a leisure center all in one so i'm going in heels now i've asked her whether or not to when she's kind of gave me the most vague answer so if i'm the only one in heels gonna be super embarrassing but i'm really proud of myself of being early because it started at seven and i'm leaving in the next five minutes which i think is not too bad considering everyone will probably only be arriving now turn on my flash for no reason love that for me and then i'm gonna get into the car and hopefully um be there in the next 40 40 minutes so it's a bit dark the light is not that great um, so this is the top as you can see like the detail is there with the lap super 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 cute and then also um, the strap as well I absolutely love that detail then the top is mesh I've tucked it in to my trousers I'm just wearing like long kind of bandage <laughs> my hair slipper is lovely I'm just wearing like long um, bandage detail type of trousers I got these from House of CB a little while ago, so probably are sold out. So there's a quick scan. So I'm gonna make my way there and I'll see you guys in a second. Bye. Sorry about the horrendous light and I'm gonna try to turn this out. Okay, better, right. So on my, on my, uh, sorry guys. I think I'm just so, I'm so embarrassed. Like he's talking really fast. Now I'm on my way, I'm in the car and I'm watching my Instagram, watching my Snapchat as you normally do and I'm, <laughs> I click into Leomi's Snapchat, Snapchat, Leomi's Instagram and why is everyone wearing runners? <laughs> why, like, what, 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 what was the reason? 
So, um, yeah, it's just gonna be me awkwardly wearing heels and everyone else is wearing runners. To be honest, I should have known if it is. The thing is, it's a sports wear launch, but it's like in a, it's supposed to be in a club. Do you know what I mean? And I just didn't want to look really casual. So I did wear like sports wear at my top half, but my bottom half, I look like I'm going out for party. So that's also very, very awkward. Sorry about the really bad light. Um, I think your car just blocked. I'm just gonna end it here because you really can't see me and there's a huge point. But I just wanted to tell you how awkward I feel wearing runners, wearing, I wish I was wearing runners, wearing heels when it's a, it's a sports event. always amazed by the like little things um, but yeah I'm here Every, I haven't really met many people I've met Jess who I work with and I'm waiting to see Naomi because I think she's like in a dressing room somewhere getting ready but I will take you along for the rest of the round and show you what I get up to today so see you
my way home and I'm absolutely fucked. It was one of the best events I've been to in such a long time. Shout out to Leo May, shout out to Bra, Brass Lap. Guys, I'm so, I'm so out of it, but I had such a good time. My feet are sore. I literally have my heels here. I don't know if you can see them. I can't even see myself, <laughs> but I had such a good time and i'm gonna go home and sleep and i'm meeting tomorrow at half nine in the morning and the light is really shit i know that because i can't even see myself but this is the end of the vlog i hope you enjoyed it as much as i got i don't actually know how much footage i got i just know that i'm super drunk and i know the camera's super shaky because i honestly cannot hold it but i will see you guys tomorrow or the next time i vlog depending on whether I get home in a condition where I actually I can actually hold the camera. So um I will see you guys soon. Bye. Hi guys, so it's the next day. I am somewhat sober. Um, I always keep forgetting to actually look in the lens. Yeah, so next day, I'm somewhat sober. I'm on my way to Sloan Square waiting for my Uber. Um, can't show you because it has my dress on it, which is in four minutes and it's been cancelling all day. I don't know if anyone's had that issue as well. It's really annoying. Like I used, I tried Bolt and then it was like, um, all the drivers are busy. How are all the drivers busy? And then Uber's cancelled on me twice. So I am hoping fingers crossed and um, that I can get into this one because I'm already late and I really really wanted to be early today so I'm going to brunch with Jackie and a few influencers and um, I know Jade is going I seen Jade last night and she was getting dressed on her story so I'm excited to see her today and um, and yeah I'm just excited to go out again and do you know what I'm definitely gonna be on the orange juice the old Jew oj <laughs> i'm definitely going to be on the oj today because i feel like i've drank so much but i woke up and i wasn't hung over which was really weird because at my big age i thought like i'd be dying i got up at like half seven i think and then i went to bed at probably like one in the morning maybe two the event finished at like half 11 so i was home by at least half 12 i think oh i can't remember it was all a blur but um honestly do you know what i'm so excited about this brunch like i'm not even gonna front i absolutely love jackie when she messaged me and she was like oh babe do you want to come i was like you messing <laughs> i said <laughs> I said yes. I was like, girl, thank you for thinking about me. Okay, so um, this is PLT and this is Zara. These are misguided like kitty kitty heels. Is that what they're called? I don't know, but the lighting is really, really bad. Sorry guys, I don't have a light on, just natural light. But here we are, here is the fit. So I'll see you guys when I get there. Peace out. This is where I'm meeting the girls with Bron. So I'm here now and I'm just gonna go in.
so I'm on my way home, just left the restaurant. Honestly, I'm hanging from last night. Food was really good and it was great to see everyone there. I had a good time. I seen all my favorite people um, and it was just good to be out because obviously I've been stuck indoors just like writing and just feeling sorry for myself and just the usual so it was nice i'm um, seeing the girls just on my way home gonna take off my makeup slap on a face mask oh i might actually watch um sex education or good girls i don't know get some food oh because the funny thing is right so at this restaurant i actually didn't eat much because obviously I think Jackie booked it right and I've never been there before turns out it's actually a Japanese restaurant and mind you I actually don't like Japanese food or um, I wouldn't say I don't like Japanese food I don't like sushi uh, and that was the bulk of it like obviously I did have some steak which is great but yeah the sushi for me it's not for me like I've tried it a couple of times but yeah it wasn't for me so I feel like I'm still like kind of really hungry so uh, yeah gonna have some food when I go home it's gonna be great and then I'm just gonna sleep maybe get some writing done at fingers crossed because I'm so behind like when I think about it it makes me really really depressed and really really sad because I have so much work to do guys literally I have so much work to do um so yeah gonna go home and i will see you guys later bye i might actually end the vlog here because there's nothing else i'm doing or maybe i won't maybe i'll show you what food i got anyways bye Hi guys, so today is today's Thursday. Is it? Yeah, today's Thursday. Today is Thursday. I am shooting like a campaign with Boot Avenue. I feel like the last time I vlogged, I actually vlogged me getting ready or me being at no, I didn't vlog me getting ready. I shot I vlogged me at Boo Avenue doing the shoot. So like yeah, that is how much I vlog, which is actually really. But um I'm here with Mel, who always does my hair, and I'm here with Shirley too. Um so yeah, we are just getting ready. I'm due to arrive on set in about an hour and a half. Um so I live in Southwest and we are going to North, which is um pretty far I think I'm gonna be in like the uber for an hour and ten minutes which is great love that for me and um, so I just wanted to start the vlog here and I will show you the finished look either when I'm in the car because I think I'm gonna have we're gonna leave this in aren't we Mel until yeah we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna yeah so we're gonna leave this pinned in until we get to set I will see you guys either at the studio or in the car guys if I don't if I don't laugh, I'm gonna cry. So we've been in the car for about 50 minutes. What feels like an hour. <laughs> we've been in the car for give or take, like just under an hour. And like, you know, when you're just like chilling in the car, and I was like, I think one of, I think what Mel was like, oh, um, we're in this area, and it's literally like 20 minutes away from my house. <laughs> I'm supposed to be at the shoot location in nine minutes guys i'm literally a, a good 30 minutes away don't mind her she makes that <laughs> <laughs> so don't mind her i'm 30 minutes away the girl doesn't have I'm to just... drive can tell you how far she's away from places that she doesn't i can feel it yeah i can feel it your spirit is stronger than anything i've ever been <laughs> oh i can feel it it's 352 i can feel that i'm not gonna Get into this. <laughs> and they're laughing because I can always feel things and I'm always right. I can feel it. I can feel it. We're not going to be there till like 4 30. And I, I'm supposed to start shooting at 4 o'clock. 25 plus. 25. What I tell you? I told you. 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 I told
Oh god, look guys. <laughs> I'm so scared to call my manager. I'm so scared. I absolutely love Blue Avenue and I love working with them, but they're never gonna book me again. Oh guys, right, I'm gonna I'm gonna speak to you later because the light is shit and I'm panicking and I actually have emails to do so I'll see you right now. Bye. Hello. 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 Hi guys, so we've gotten here. It is 4.35, like I already knew. Didn't I say it? We were gonna be here to have fun. Pulling up at Hogburn Studio, so I'm gonna take you guys inside and we are gonna get ready. Hi. Everyone say hi. <laughs> so we have arrived on set and everyone else is late, which means that I'm early. I love that for me. So we're just gonna finish off my hair. I probably shouldn't be doing this because I'm extremely, extremely late. But um, we're gonna finish off my hair and then Mel and Shirley are gonna take control of the camera because I'll be shooting and then, yeah. So I'm just doing my finishing touches now and like, this is like the studio where the, like, every single Love Island shoot like is done like the BTs the like photo shoots that you see hair and makeup like this is the studio it's done in and like I don't know there's just so much emotions because the last time I was here was like two years ago when I was like so nervous to do the shoot and like to be back two years later and in like a different I don't know just having a different perspective on life and just in a different career it's like so like mind-blowing and it's like there's honestly so much about it. It's just weird like looking at all the rooms because I remember exactly like how I felt and how everything smelled when I was here. But like, yeah, I know I'm excited to be back, but it's just a bit like, <gasps> but um, yeah, Mal is just finishing off my hair. <laughs> I have to make up. I'm there getting emotional like, oh my God. And Mel's just like pulling out my hair. But um, <laughs> We are gonna start shooting soon, and I think I've said this already like a hundred times, but I will I'll see you later, bye. So all that time, I was like panicking, and I have like loads of time. I'm literally just upstairs chilling while the girls are taking their shots. Sorry, I have to bend down, there's like better light here. So I'm literally here chilling while the girls are shooting. I literally have so much time. I, I don't even, I don't know how many looks I'm doing today probably max two which I suppose is fine yeah I keep saying bye as if I'm not gonna come back but like I'll probably be back in a second to tell you that I'm still chilling and still waiting so um bye Taxi bottoms, we have Mel here, he's worked so hard on my hair. 
and journey there is just packing up. Here we are, back in my comfies, ready to go home. <laughs> Thank God. The shoot literally lasted what, like 20 minutes? Not like nowhere to lie. Max an hour. There's no way we were here more than an hour. Well, I was shooting more than an hour, which is great. So I'll show you around the set, which is being packed up at the moment. Here are my shoes. So here is the set we shot in. It is being packed up. This is the set, and here is the team. Makeup room. And there's Candy Floss, guys. There's Candy Floss. <gasps> that is a wrap. No, oh no. That was very awkward. It literally that it took me an hour. Well, it's a bit of an exaggeration, but it felt like a bloody hour. It took me 20 minutes, and that's like me being honest. Focus. It took me 20 minutes to get a car. Um, gonna see if this is my car here. It's so tired. Hello. You want it? Yes, how are you? You want it? Hey guys, so I'm back home. I'm trying to get decent light because the shadows are so bad. Wait, maybe if I actually turn on the light, um, that might actually help instead of complaining about chip lighting. Um, yeah, I have my hood up because, oh, I changed my wig and it's just, uh. I'm honest, guys, I am so tired. Like, I'm, oh, I'm shattered. Like, I got up, I got up, do you know what? I had a lie-in today, I didn't get up as early, I got up about, like, 10 o'clock. But I think what it is is that I've only just, I've, I've eaten nothing, like, I ate nothing. Um, I had, like, egg whites this morning for breakfast, water, and I was supposed to have oats. I, I'm pretty sure they're still in the fridge. Like, I'm pretty sure they're still in the fridge. I was supposed to have oats, <laughs> but then surely my makeup artist came and I couldn't eat, got dressed, stuck in traffic, had a heart attack on the phone to my manager. And then got to the shoe and then obviously because I was in like lingerie I didn't want to like eat so I was like oh I'll eat after and then I couldn't get an uber home <laughs> and then now I'm here guys I am so drained <laughs> I'm so tired I'm so I'm so I'm so I feel like I've really like was put to work today like I feel like I've really 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 worked um so headphones on sorry I'm gonna take off my makeup i'm gonna get something to eat and then oh guys like i have two chapters due this week actually due tomorrow for my book honestly like i'm so my soul is sad i'm so sad i'm really really upset this is the ghetto <laughs> this this is the ghetto this is the ghetto. So I'm just gonna take off my makeup. I have to ring my friend. Um, and then I make it sound like a fucking chore. <laughs> I was gonna have brown rice, but that takes forever to cook. Anyone who eats brown rice knows how long it takes. Um, I am going to take off my makeup, eat, no, take off my makeup, get a phone call. No, no, I'm gonna have a phone call. Then I'm gonna take off my makeup. Then I'm gonna eat. And then I'm gonna go to bed and write, or I might write in the sitting room because I'll fall asleep. But that's what I'm going to do. I'm on like a caloric deficit. I have lost um, a little bit of weight while well, the weight I put on um, during lockdown two and just eating like shit really, eating crap. So I have lost that. I'm kind of on a deficit, but I might actually just put it up a bit, put my calories up a bit and just remain on like um, 
maintenance as you would say and i haven't been working in the gym as hard well when it comes to like weight training so i might just increase that a little bit try and build back some muscle for christmas um and just be like thicker and like in general but like good thick like muscle thick so that's the plan i might show you what i eat to be honest it's nothing fancy like i'm just gonna have white rice instead of brown rice a bit of broccoli and chicken like no like hardly any sauce like honestly it's not a nice it is it is what it is like just getting over it really i'm tired look how bad my wig is over and out for me got home safe i'm alive night and i love you guys good night good night good night hi guys so it is 2 20 247 it's 247 i'm on my way to the airport um my flight is at half five i think so i'm gonna get to the airport for about half three ish check in really quickly and go to my gate it's the first time flying since i covid so i wanted to get there really really early because i have no idea what the crack is i'm on my way to ibiza and i'm so tired because i had michael's birthday dinner today which i brought my camera to vlog but like it was just such like a nice chill event not event it was just like a nice chilled vibe and i didn't feel i didn't want to like bring my camera out and like i don't know i just didn't want to do that um and i was gonna vlog his party instead but then i couldn't go because we left the restaurant really really late and then i had to come home because i didn't pack and i am pretty sure i'm over over my allowed luggage so that should be interesting uh, that should be interesting um yeah i'm really tired but i mean we are getting there on my way i'm gonna oh can we turn back yeah turn back i forgot my laptop oh my god <laughs> great i was gonna do some writing yeah i'm gonna go back at my laptop and then we are gonna go to the airport Hey guys, so today is the second 
day I forgot to check in last night so we've just moved to a hotel um, I keep calling it a mare but it's actually called a Mary I think I'm just like looking at the name so we are so I'm actually just here to like shoot those content do some relaxing because I've been writing notes and I feel like I needed to get away but like I also wanted to do a little bit of work because I haven't like shot holiday content like literally ever because of like lockdown so i'm really excited to be here the hotel is absolutely amazing shirley's currently checking in and i'm just like outside because the lighting is absolutely amazing please don't mind my hair because i've not hot combed it it looks a mess currently wearing like jeans and a top and i'm gonna change into some fire bits and we're gonna go to nobu and shoot some content but i'll show you around where i'm at i was really nervous because we were driving in and it actually looked like we were in the ghetto and then we pulled up and it wasn't as bad and um, look how beautiful that looks like it ab looks absolutely stunning and what i love about ibiza is that it's so green like look how nice that looks right i'm gonna flip the camera i'm gonna show you what it looks like so that's where we came in right there and um, look how beautiful that looks like look how blue that is isn't this stunning um and then obviously i'm not paid to do this like this i actually paid to stay in the hotel just in case anyone's wondering so that's the way it locks um stairs in there really really nice stuff um you walk in here and i actually haven't seen my room so i'll probably do a room tour as well and here we are <laughs> So yeah, it's been a long day. I was gonna do a room tour and now the room is a state. Like I'll show you a little I'll show you a little bit, but it is a it is a state. Okay, hold on. So there's the balcony there ish. Um double bed. It actually feels like a king size bed. Two different socks, yellow. And um, the bathroom's in there. There's like a nice chair that has like loads of shit there. Um a table and then the TV and then this is where I have like all my stuff it's a bit of a mess at the moment so I tried to shoot a couple of things today um, and now I'm looking back at the pictures and I'm like oh do I actually like them or do I not like there's like one or two that I absolutely love and then the others are like it's just really awkward because like oh, such a mare of a day and then I was shooting and I like there was this really really rude guy who kept like trying to speak to me and I don't know just like yelling while I was like taking pictures and he was like it was just like it was like he was yelling at me like oh my god you do Instagram such a hard life you have like I, there was literally no need for it um, and then he'd try and get my attention and be like oh can you show me how to pose? Can you show me how to take a picture? And then when I told him I didn't want to speak to him, he was like, yeah, well, I don't want to speak to you either. You're a five out of 10. Like I was minding my own business, honestly. Like he was just so fucking rude. But apart from that, like everyone else was like really, really lovely. And the hotel is amazing. I'm actually going to try and do like a hotel tour in the morning, but oh my God. We stayed in like the Sutter Hotel the first time, the first day we landed, well, yesterday. It was called Playa Sol, Playa Sol. The ghetto. Didn't even have like, so basically they had a restaurant, but they didn't have room service. And they also didn't have a restaurant in the hotel that you can go and eat, but they served food. But it was only buffet. And the buffet was horrible first of all bloody problems but like i literally didn't eat and then we got kfc but we didn't want to eat like in kfc so we took it home but then by the time we got home it was cold and there was a microwave and so we had cold oh like and then i wanted to iron my clothes and they were like oh like they don't have an iron because of covid I don't know guys. 
I feel like I'm just like rambling on, but honestly, the worst hotel I think I've ever stayed in. I'd absolutely not recommend staying there. To be honest, I don't know why I booked it because I knew I wasn't shooting that day and I was like, I'll just book anything until like I am actually going like into Ibiza and shooting content and whatever. And then I get a nice enough hotel. I have some iced tea with me. My editor has been like messaging me about like my chapters to my book, which is like overdue, but like yellow. Honestly, like I'm thinking of like writing it today, but I just, I just don't know. I just don't. I feel like I have nothing left to say, but I still need to hit the word kind for that chapter, for those two chapters. And oh, it's just so draining. I hate it here. I hate it here. But um, yeah, I'm gonna take off my makeup, go to bed. I have to get up early tomorrow. We are moving hotels. I think we're going to Oku Hotel. I've heard that it's really, really good. I literally do this all the time. I hear that's really, really good, but I don't know. Like, I hate when you like see someone on Instagram and it looks amazing, and then you go there and it looks like fucking shite. Um, but like everybody on Instagram, Instagram says it looks really good. So I don't know if it's like Instagram good or it's actually really good. I guess we'll find out tomorrow. So I will speak to you guys later. Bye, 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 bye. Also, if this vlog doesn't make sense, I'm really sorry because I actually don't know what I'm doing. Dead ass. I've I haven't got a fucking clue. She's just swinging it and praying that like it comes together. So if it doesn't, that's very awkward, isn't it? Anyways, bye. This is a little bit of the um, hotel tour. So there is the bar, but I've actually never seen anyone use that. So maybe no one uses that. Um, reception is over there, somewhere there. I'd go up, but I'm not wearing a mask, so I probably shouldn't. Um, so this is the way it looks. There's like the lounge area. I'll just show you a little bit of the outside because I actually have to go because my cat is here. I walked into the door yesterday. There is like literally my face. Great. Um, and this is the outside. How beautiful is that? Look how lush that is. Very, very blue. Everyone told me not to come in October because it was going to be freezing, but it's 26 degrees. Thank you so much. Gracias. There is the hotel over there and here's just the outside very very pretty um so we're going to the next hotel now i'm sorry but this looks cold to like show you guys what hotel I'm in and also do a room tour because I check in really quickly and then my room's a mess but this is where we are this here is the reception honestly I'm gonna get such nice content when I hope it's gonna be nice here and there and then outside it literally have the most like magical pool honestly it's insane these are the doors like how far is this pool So I haven't eaten today because I've been doing content all, all day. So I'm gonna get some food. I'm being truly gonna get some food. And we're gonna start shooting some nice content. Shirley, say hi. <laughs> gonna shoot some nice content. I tried to write a bit, it's not really going really well. My editor, Joelle, <laughs> is literally on my neck trying to get me to sort out content but um oh my god guys look at this pool wait a minute wait till i show you look how blue that water is this is so nice and yeah so i'll get some food and i'll catch you guys soon bye